G'day lads, Green here. Now the end of the month has recently passed and I bet you're all wondering what the new mask is is going to be across my face. Spoilers, I've decided to keep the mask that I'm currently wearing and I'm being a fucking complete hypocrite and deciding to keep the Australian flag across my face. Mostly because your designs are absolutely horrible and we're going to go through some of them today and thank god it was not a vote based system because I would have been screwed. So, you know, I was getting comments of stuff like, oh, don't give in to the left and what they're saying about, you know, flags being racist if they're across your face and whatnot, or you're wearing them, you're giving in to the stereotypes. And yes and no, and I mean, look, especially with my name it being Mr. Green Tex, I'm always going to have a kind of stigma against me and, you know, the flag probably isn't going to help, but whatever, screw it. It's been part of my identity for so long as my online persona and as Mr. Green Dex, most importantly, that, I don't know, it feels kind of strange now looking back to, you know, change it. And as it, it would be pretty cool to have my own mask, uh, still don't really know what I'd ever want, really, at this point. And if I don't know what I want, it's probably not a good idea to, you know, to change it and for, settle for something. And so yeah, so let's go through a bunch of your submissions because yeah, they were garbage. I was, I did get memed on pretty hard like I was expected to. But yeah, some of them are kind of funny, so uh, let's go through with them today, shall we? So the brief that I gave, again, was just, you know, no racist symbols or slurs, preferred dark blues, red and greens to kind of match the overall aesthetic of the last mask and everything. Uh, gave some design templates, you know, what it might look like, some bullshit I quickly designed up with some generic man. Uh, so, one of the first ones I got was a location, uh, a latitude and longitude location. And when you look at it, it uh, goes to a place called Knock'em Stiff. <laughs> so already, that was the first submission I had, and I'm like, fair enough, off to a good fucking start. It immediately then proceeded to not get better with one of the most upvoted ones, where it just says, this mask hides my cum-guzzling dirty mouth hole. No thanks. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what else to really say about that other than no thanks. I think this is almost worse. There's a mask that Steve-O is currently selling where he did a photo shoot where he put a bunch of, uh, I don't know, it might have been like some washing detergent or something in his mouth. It looked like he just got a mouthful of cum. So he just put that on a mask of that lower half of his face look like he's got a mouthful of cum and he's selling that. I feel like this is worse than having that where you have a literal face looking like it has cum in it. I feel like this is worse somehow. So immediately that's my second submission and I'm like, this was a bad idea. I <laughs> forget it already. And things kind of somewhat improved. The guy, you know, somewhat tried to do something different. Kind of like the text. The mouth, eh. Feels kind of childish, very overdone, was considering some sort of smiley face, but every hyper beast and, you know, brand that doesn't know what they want is doing a smiley face nowadays, so I'm decided against that. Uh, then decided to go downhill again, where it just this trailing flag, where it just says, I have AIDS. So, again, man just copy pasted that. And then someone decided to improve it, and somehow lower quality that says racist, and then drew a shitty dinosaur, and then put the smiley face back in. Uh, and then we had, a cut. I gotta find this pretty funny, People's Republic of Australia, good meme man, I think this is probably one of the better ones that we had here. You lose points however, because the Southern Cross here does not have 7 points, I don't know if many people know that, on the Australian flag, you can probably see it here, it has 7 points on the stars for the all 7 states, this one only has 5. Good meme nonetheless, pretty funny. Uh, we have a classic here that just says, I hate the Antichrist. Sure, I guess. You know, <laughs> don't know who that's really appealing to. I mean, sure, I I assume Christians probably also hate the Antichrist, but also like I'm, like, I'm not sure who that's <laughs> whose audience that's trying to reach. Uh, someone just uploaded a, a picture of a platypus, low res PNG. Uh, going back to the irony again, someone <laughs> just put Kim Jong Un in front of the North Korean flag. Fair. We have this one here that someone's just yoinked some random stock photo of a lightning. Dog watch photography, MM. <laughs> Again, I don't know why. And they uploaded it twice for some reason. Uh, more Viper again, more memes. This is one that I actually kind of liked. 
they did a custom camo job, which I thought might be kind of cool if, you know, the invert colors to, you know, different ones that I liked. It might actually be kind of cool in design. And then they decided to put a 4chan logo on it. When I did say before in the video that I'd kind of want to move away from 4chan iconography, and then they kind of went ahead and just threw that on there anyway. Uh, someone just put a fucking filter over a stock image of a beach. Uh, this one's kind of clever. I kind of don't mind this one either. You know, smiley face with also some sort of, you know, just a, just a short little reference to, you know, 4chan with the fucking the bracket. I don't mind it, but eh, still kind of too simple, I think. Someone trying to do a Shad, <laughs> shad Man meme. Uh, is my attempt at trying to put some different colours in the camera. It looks kind of okay, but I'm not too happy with it, and it's just like, ah, fuck it. And we'll see what other people come up with. Yeah, I drink soy. How could you tell? I can't wait to have that across my face. All them soy boys. Where are all those femme boys at, son? Uh, someone just tried to replace the Southern Cross with <laughs> the Four Clovers of 4chan and then Pepe. Now what's strange about this one is they decided to just like paint everything themselves instead of using a fill bucket. Like you can see where the fucking mist and they've just decided to do everything by hand. They're absolute, you know, and they've taken the time to individually take out each clovers of the 4chan logo and then not remove the background. Kind of funny shit post and I decided to just write be me across it. But then it kind of just looks like Beam, that failed fucking social media that Casey Neistat started and then immediately forgot about. <laughs> uh, this is, I guess, a guy just started playing with filters at one point. You know, this is something, you know, your grandmother would wear across their face, I imagine, and then random circles and just doing other garbage. <laughs> and he did whatever this drawing was of me, which I think, again, with with this design submission I showed you, the thing that crossed my face is going to be up here. So it's just going to be looking like a brown butthole across my face here. With like the weird ball sack looking thing here also across the back of my head probably. Overall, a strange design didn't really follow the criteria. Also kind of garbage. And then I guess he remembered, oh yeah, that goes across his face. So he just put that there. Yuck. Is all I have to say to that. Yuck. Uh... I mean, at least this guy drew a thing. I don't know why the, the hat keeps looking like a butthole, but that's fine. At least this Southern Cross has seven points on it. Not really much else to say. A lot of the colors of North Korea, more than Australia, don't really like it. Uh, this guy just put my face on it upside down from the video. Again, <laughs> it should just be my face on my face. Actually, that's, that is kind of funny, I will admit. I don't, I don't completely hate it, to be honest. Uh, someone put the UN logo on here for some reason, but it's also kind of annoying because Australia isn't there. They might have done that on purpose. Don't know why, <laughs> why they thought this was funny with the extra troll face. I think it might be the B-movie script. I can't really tell because it's too low res for me to fucking zoom in and check. Uh, more memes and uh, that's about it. Now you see why I decided to keep this mark. So yeah, the long story short is that I'm being a hypocrite. I'm keeping the Australian mask and whatever. That's all I have to really say to that, <laughs> particularly. Uh, look out for more videos the next uh, week. Uh, should, hopefully should go back to two videos a week now that I have a new editor. I've just been slacking doing some other shit. And uh, yeah, don't really know how to really end this video. Subscribe to my Patreon, maybe, I guess. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing with it. If you want to throw me some money, do that, I suppose. I want to relaunch it at some point, but I guess the mask idea kind of went out the window pretty quickly, so yeah.